their postures bringing their weapons downward on the bearers, the echoes resounding through the vacant building, the huge storehouse carried up in the city well, underway, the six framing men, two in the middle and two at each end, carefully bearing on their shoulders a heavy stick for a crossbeam, the crowded line of masons with trowels in their right hands rapidly laying the long side wall, 200 feet from front to rear, the flexible rise and fall of backs, the continual click of the trowel striking the bricks, the bricks, one after each other, one after another, each laid so workmanlike in its place and set with a knock of the trowel handle. The piles of materials, the mortar on the mortar boards, and the steady replenishing by the hodmen. Spar makers in the spar yard, the swarming row of well-grown apprentices, the swing of their axes on the square hewed log, shaping it toward the shape of a mast. The brisk, short crackle of the steel driven slantingly into the pine, the butter-colored chips flying off in great flakes and slivers, the limber motion of brawny young arms and hips in easy costumes, the constructor of wharves, bridges, piers, bulkheads, floats, stays against the sea, the city firemen, the fire that suddenly bursts forth in the close-packed square.